Ah, sports. Where athletes bring us career defining moments. Dynasties being created and destroyed. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. And of course, the unthinkable. And me? Well, I'm here to give you the truth. The one aspect that will never lie? The numbers. Yay! You too! What's going on, man? Back at again with another video. It's your boy, Numbers Fan J. And welcome to my Super Bowl predictions. Kind of a little mini series, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. <sighs> we ready, man. We just a couple weeks away from playoff football, man. I'm so excited about this. Yes, yes, we are here. We have arrived. Let me explain the playoffs for y'all that don't understand or that don't really know how the playoffs work in the NFL. So the NFL, there are six playoff teams on each conference, the AFC and the NFC. The top four teams are all division winners. There are four divisions in the NFL on both sides, on both conferences. So there are eight divisions. So you have East, South, North, and West on the AFC side and the NFC side. Those division winners are ranked by record as well as head-to-head -head record when it comes to seeding in the playoffs. This determines who gets the home field advantage, who gets to play at home, and who has to go on the road for a playoff game. Now, these games in the playoffs are one and done. So if you win a game, you move on to the next round. If you lose the game, you're done. Their season is over. You do not have any more football left to play. Um, so let's get into it, man. Of course, let's look at the AFC field first. Look at the AFC field first. Currently, at week 16, this is what the playoff field, field looks like before the Packers and Vikings end off the week. One is Ravens, two is Patriots, three Chiefs, four Texans, five Bills, six Titans. So that's the playoff field on the AFC side. On the NFC side, 49ers 1, Saints 2, Packers 3, Eagles 4, Seahawks 5, and Vikings 6. Now, the way that this works is the NFC side has a lot more ability to shift around where the AFC side is pretty much set for the most part. Except for that last little wild card seed, we don't know who's going to get it for sure. We have some ideas, but... Let's get into some predictions. That's why y'all came. So I got you. Don't worry about it. This is how I think the playoffs will happen. So first off, I want to say that the playoff seeding is going to remain how it looks right now. That means that the sixth seed in the AFC is going to be the Titans. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to travel to Kansas City. And they will upset Kansas City again like they did in 2018 in the wild card round. Uh, these teams look a lot similar to what they looked um, a couple years ago. Titans still love to run the ball. The Chiefs still love to score a lot of points. Their defense, we don't really know. Titans defense, more sure of themselves, more they know who they are. I got the Titans winning that, so that's a six beating the three. Stay with me. The Bills are the five seed. They will travel to Houston. That's the four seed on the AFC side. The Bills will beat the Texans in Houston because the Texans cannot score off turnovers and their defense just isn't that great. Outside of the Seahawks, I think the Texans have the second worst defense in the playoffs. So I got to go Bills winning that on the road. Ravens will beat the Titans. So the Titans are the sixth seed. They're the lowest remaining seed. The lowest remaining seed always travels to the highest remaining seed. 
So six will travel to one on the AFC side. I got the Ravens beating the Titans pretty easily. I don't think the Titans match up well against the Ravens. I got the Ravens winning now. The Patriots will be playing the Bills again. This will be the third time they played this year. I have the Patriots winning that game again because the Bills just can't find a way to beat these guys. It doesn't matter how the game goes, if it's low scoring, if it ends up being higher scoring at the end. The Bills just don't know how to beat them. I got to go Patriots again. Ravens will beat the Patriots as the Patriots will have to travel on the road. And we know that historically, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are not good on the road in the playoffs. They are almost unstoppable at home. So, got to go Ravens over Patriots. The Ravens will be advancing to the Super Bowl. You heard it here first, man. On the NFC side, the 6 seed Vikings will be traveling to the Packers. They're playing in Minnesota tonight. But... Despite what happens in this game and in Week 17, the Packers will keep the number three seed. Packers will beat the Vikings. They will beat the Vikings in this game in Green Bay. The Seahawks will be beating the Eagles. <laughs> the Seahawks will beat the Eagles. That's a five beating a four and a three beating a six on the NFC side. That means the Seahawks will have to travel to the 49ers to play them for a third time. I have the 49ers winning this game. So the 49ers will win this game at home. The Saints will be hosting the Packers. So the Packers going down to New Orleans against Cam Jordan in that defense. I don't think it's going to happen. I got to go Saints. Got to go Saints. The Saints will beat the 49ers to advance to the Super Bowl. Just based off experience, Drew Brees been there before. Sean Payton been there before. They've been knocking on the door just too long. They were cheated last year. We all know that. Got to go Saints, man. Got to go Saints. And I got Saints and Ravens in the Super Bowl. I have the winner of this game. Drum roll, please. The Saints will beat the Ravens in the Super Bowl again. Just due to experience, uh, Lamar Jackson, this being just his second year, I cannot project him. I cannot predict him to win the Super Bowl just yet. Not yet, Lamar. Not yet. Relax. <laughs> so I got the Saints winning that. Thank y'all for watching, man. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're new. Thank you for your view. I appreciate you. It's your boy, Jay. Super Bowl, man. We out.